India's electronics exports have tripled in just a five years from 2020 to 2025. But here is the catch. Most of it is still low value assembly work, not the true manufacturing strength. Think of it like building a phone, but importing all the key parts. India is strong in assembling passive components like wires and resistors, but still imports active ones like your semiconductors, PCBs and chips. This dependency makes us vulnerable to currency swings, global shocks and even supply disruptions. That's why the government's new component manufacturing scheme is a big deal. It's like PLI 2.0 that pushes India more deeper into the value chain, not just assembling, but creating the components within India. Together with the semiconductor machine and the display incentive, the goal is to boost local value addition from 20% to 40%, closing the gap with China and Vietnam. If executed right, this could turn India from an assembly hub to a true electronics powerhouse. But success depends on technology types, micro and small medium enterprises, which is your MSME funding and attracting top global OEMs, your original equipment manufacturers beyond just Apple and Samsung. India's manufacturing story is entering its into a new chapter. The real test just starts now. Follow more for such deep, simplified insights on India's economic transformation.